So far, we have not seen a debt crisis. And it's very unlikely that we see a debt crisis in 2023 with the pace of rate hikes that we have ahead of us and also with the uh, current environment of credit conditions. That is true. However, S&P ratings is showing that the deterioration of credit conditions and the deterioration of solvency and liquidity, the liquidity ratios are significant. Think about this. Hmm? The number of rating downgrades relative to upgrades has been very negative, meaning that there's a lot more rating downgrades than upgrades. The, the reasons why companies are weakening their ability to repay their debt comes from both weakening operational performance to macroeconomic pressures, inv inflationary pressures, and leverage. But also, at the same time, financing costs are rising, cost of capital is also rising, and although defaults are increasing and they're higher than in 2021, certainly the level of defaults so far is not worrying. However, the wall of maturities is coming in 2025, 2026. Those are the years in which companies uh, and um, sovereign bond issuers have pushed their uh, maturities to try to uh, benefit from low interest rates when they were. So they're going to have to refinance at a much higher rate. So the challenges of the credit market are creeping, are showing evidently, but uh, they're not dangerous. They're not certainly at extreme levels right now. Credit conditions remain extremely accommodative. However, we need to pay a lot of attention to this because it may get worse pretty quickly as the uh, deterioration of macroeconomic and financial conditions continue.